man, I, I applied for this one job. I had got a heard, I got wind of that they were hiring for cloud engineer support engineer. They gave me a call that same day. They set up the interviews. I kid you not, I had four interviews in the next two days. I went out through all these rounds of interviews and I ended up getting the job. This video is being brought to you by Level Up in Tech. It's Q3 in 2024, but you still have time to get into the cloud. With the quick search for cloud, indeed, you can see over 44,000 jobs are listed that is related or pertaining to the cloud. Now that is a lot, but if you're watching this right now, you might be thinking, well, how do I learn the skills to get into the cloud? Well, we got you covered. Love Up in Tech is one of the best, if not the best, program related to getting people into the cloud. At Love Up in Tech, you can learn about server config and troubleshooting, the AWS cloud, infrastructure as code, CI, CD, scripting, containerization and more. And also, they now also have a new multi-cloud AI engineering program that is dedicated to help you have the latest and greatest skills to help you be marketable in this tech market. They post more testimonials than almost any program that I could think of. Check them out. Wow. If you're ready to start your cloud career today, then use the link in my description to go to levelupintech.com forward slash tech so you can start your career. And plus, they'll know that I sent you. But on to the video. Anyway, so I did that, man. Um, things were just looking bad, man. I, I had got fired from, uh, I, I was actually a bouncer. I was a bouncer for about a year. I did all type of odd jobs, construction work, all type of stuff. Anyway, uh, ended up doing Uber um, and Lyft and got fired from both of them. So, so I, listen, this fire thing that people talk about layoffs, I'm like, listen, I've been dealing with this since, since, tw since my early 20s. So it's like, it's, it's, it's nothing to me to always, you know, understand that you got to have a plan after when they let you go. So, um, anyway, I, I remember one day before I got, uh, kicked off, uh, kicked off of Uber, uh, I met this one brother, uh, who, who, who was trying to talk to me in the morning, just talk, talk, talk my ears. And I was, I was one of those Uber drivers. I don't want to have a conversation with you. I just want to take you to your destination, drop you off. You know, we say, you say our farewells. It, it is what it is, you know, get my money. And uh, he was just persistent talking my ear off. He was from New York. He was with all that bravado. He was telling me about tech. Da, da, da. And he mentioned something about the cloud. And I was like, what's the cloud? He's like, oh, Amazon Web Services. They have a cloud now. I said, I was like, Amazon. I was like, the book company? This is where Amazon, the most tech thing I know about them was the Kindle. Yeah. I was like, she was like, yeah, you can share the phone and get your clean solutions. I could take certification in the hand for like, it's like, like 84 ranks. I said, like, $84,000? And he's like, yeah. He's like, oh, you got to do it with your certification. I said, for real? So long story short, um, I bartered with him because I didn't have the money to pay for. At the time, Linux Academy was the only ones uh, producing cloud training content at this time. The, the only one. And um, I said, it was like $30 a month. I couldn't afford it. I was broke, broke, broke. And um, I was like, oh, you know what? I'll take you. I'll come pick you up um, and take you wherever you want to go every day for uh, well, five days a week uh, for a month in exchange for your membership. Because he had a membership with Linux Academy through his job. He worked in the data center. And he was like, uh, sure. Man, I did not know that this dude was a, a, a strip club veteran. And so literally four nights a week, I'm taking him to the strip club. This is how I got into the strip clubs. Um, I used to take him to the strip club like four nights a week, like no joke, in the city. And I just finesse it sometimes because I, you know, it got to the point where he'll pay me 20 for the ride and then he'll give me 20 to tip the dancers. But sometimes I'm going to kick the 20 and not tip the dancers, you know? And so, you know, so I just sometimes work and walk away with a 40 piece some nights. So anyway, um, use his account, study, study my butt off, fail. Um, um, my first exam, started with Cloud Surface, uh, AWS Cloud Solutions Architect exam. Then, uh, I eventually uh, got a tech job with a uh, help desk job with uh, with Dale working for the state of Georgia installing desktops. I was only supposed to be, and I treated it like I did my project management job. Like uh, I was only supposed to be there for about a month and I ended up busting my butt. They ended up um, having me there for, I ended up being there long term for about a year and some change. Well, while I'm there, I'm still, I'm still on contract. They can let me go at any time. Um, I'm not making really much of nothing, but I got enough now to where I can move out my mom's and move there with roommates. And so I moved in with like four guys into this house, whatever. Um, my bed is still on like crates. Like my bed was literally sleeping on crates. 
And so, uh, and they had, he had all these, they had all these cats. It was just, it was crazy. Anyway, um, I said, man, you know what? I'm either going to, I made it just my mind up one year. I said, I'm either going to become a cloud engineer because I was at my wits end with everything. I was at my, with my wits end with not knowing what to do with this cloud stuff. Cause my buddy, nobody knew, I knew nobody that knew how to get in the cloud. Like I had these conversations with people, but nobody knew how to do it. Nobody knew what a cloud engineer was. I was just one in this one cloud engineer group on Facebook, but it was all Indian based. And most of them were trying to sell you some type of product or some type of hat or something like that. And so I was like, uh, so I said, you know what? This is going to be my year. I said, I literally sat in my bed and said, I'm either going to become a cloud engineer this year or I'm going to die. That was literally my mentality. And I meant, meant every word. I said, I'm going to die or I'm going to become a cloud engineer. I don't even really know how I'm going to do it, but I, I'm going to kind of figure it out. So I literally stopped partying. I stopped going out. I still got the text to this day of my friends telling me, nah, I can't go out with you. I'm studying. Nah, I can't do this. I'm studying. I did boot camps, courses. I did everything you could think of. And um, um, I ended up getting my AWS uh, uh, certified practitioner cert. First off, keep in mind, now I failed this certifi certification as well twice. Now, I don't fail three times. All right? I'm paying out of pocket. I ain't getting reimbursed or sponsored, no vouchers, nobody. And so I said, man, so I finally, my homegirl, she picked me up one night because the night before I was supposed to take my exam, my car broke down. And my homegirl gave me a ride to the, uh, um, like um, 30 minutes away to take my exam. Took my exam, passed. Oh, man, I was elated. I was elated. Um, my mom picked me up and took me back to my room, my roommate's house where I stand at. And I kid you not, man, I had been applying for tech roles way before I got my certification. Um, I also did some volunteer work of helping um, a friend of mine who owned a major blog site at the time help her. She had her blog site hosted on AWS, and I had volunteered to help her do some disaster recovery uh, methods for her website as well as help restore her website that went down. And so, um, and I didn't really, I didn't really, I wasn't, you know, I was figuring it out along the way as well. So, um, but I did enough. I knew enough to be able to restore everything instead of DR for et cetera. So anyway, I, I say all that to say in combination with helping her, cause I added her business to my resume and, you know, as, as a cloud architect, cause I am, you know, I'm the only cloud person that you know, I'm the one that architect the whole story, et cetera. And then I added my certification, man, I, I applied for this one job. I had got a uh, herd, I got wind of that they were hiring for cloud engine support engineers. I applied, they gave me a call that same day. Um, they uh, interviewed me. They get, I applied the night before. They called me the next, the next morning. They set up the interviews. I kid you not, I had four interviews um, in the next two days. So that same day I had two interviews. And then the following day I had two more interviews. Um, I went out through all these rounds of interviews and I ended up getting the job. They, they gave me the job. Um, they gave me the job offer. And so I was excited. I, was, I remember the whole time I'm telling my boys and, and a lot of the guys I work with, like, y'all need to get into this cloud. Y'all need to get into this cloud. Nobody's believing me. Um, and, and until I went and showed them the offer letter, I got the job. 